Hi, my name is Victor Mikulovsky. I'm host of Insane Government Radio, hosted from Monday to Friday, 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Today we're going to be talking about Congressman Ron Paul and how he's been doing in the caucuses. Yeah, Congressman Paul hasn't been doing so well in, in states like Minnesota and, and Colorado, but he has been getting second and third place. Why aren't people taking a look at him? A lot of people are changing their minds and looking at uh, Rick Santorum, but what does Rick Santorum have to offer? The guy hates gays, alright? The guy hates Muslims. We, we want a president that discriminates against certain groups or prefers another group over another. Look, I have a lot of Muslim friends. I have, a, you know, I have some friends who have different you know, preferences, if you want to say that way, and I have no problem with that. All I care is that they respect me, and I'll respect them back. I don't care whether you're Muslim, or you're, or you're Jewish, or you're Christian. I don't care whether you're born in Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Sudan. I was born in Australia, right? I don't care whether you're born in South America. I, I really don't. And we're getting that type of bias from some of these candidates. And uh, I don't get why people enjoy that. They, they have a laugh about it. They, they, they like hearing uh, hate talk. Me personally, I think with uh, gay marriage, I don't think it should be left up to the states. I don't think it should be left up to the federal government. I think the the churches or the mosques or the or the the, the temple or, or or whatever it is should be deciding what get who or what gets married, um, not the government. Now dealing with with other issues and foreign policy, Rick Santorum, Newt Gingrich, Mitt Romney are identical on it on every single point. They're identical. Um, they all want to go to Iran. They all want to extend our empire around the world. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm going to call it an empire. It's 900 bases around the world. What do you want to call that? That's not small. That, that's really big. And a lot of people say, well, we cut one base. It's 899. And that, that's, a, that's, a big, that's a big jump for defense. A big jump down. And if we cut one base or, you know, if we, if we cut one fighter or cut one tank or five bullets, it, it, it's going to be the end of the world and the jihadists are going to win. And, you know, last time I checked, these jihadists have been walking around in the most cheapest type of clothing, number one. Number two, their weaponry is a joke. So, I don't know what we're uh, going up against, you know, let's look at Afghanistan right now. You have an American a soldier, you know, all the equipment on him or her is, is bound to be thousands of dollars worth. And, and, and then you have the Taliban, let's say, or Al-Qaeda, and they have one guy in just rags, which costs maybe $2 tops, and he's having a, a rifle that maybe costs 100 and, and the ammunition that maybe costs like 20 and what and it all adds up and it's disproportional and it goes against the US sol soldier that costs thousands of dollars it's a hard giveaway it's not a good trade off like as in past wars so what i'm saying is is that can we just look at all the candidates please if if congress and paul doesn't win the nomination and i i support paul i do ron paul 2012 i support him all right now, if he doesn't win the nomination, I'm not going to cry <laughs> in my bed or, or elsewhere and say, Oh, boo-hoo, Ron Paul lost. Well, you know, Ron Paul's going to leave his mark on the political discourse. He, he left a, a whole bunch of influence on everyone. Um, he left it on the youth. He left it on you. Obviously, you're watching this video. You know, if he doesn't win, people, if you supported him, don't give up. Keep on going forward and, and believing in what you believe in. Don't let the neocons or, or the far left or some crazy right-wing lunatic, religious fanatic, come up to you and start saying all stuff, oh, Congressman Paul lost, so his foreign policy is a whack-up and his economic policy is a complete joke. No, don't, don't, don't go to that level and accept that. Just keep on going forward. You lose some, you win some. I'm not saying Congressman Paul's going to lose, but be always prepared for anything. Be prepared for the unexpected. Right? Expect the unexpected. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Victor Mikulowski. You guys can find more information on insanegovernment.com. We have a lot of guests in the past. We had uh, Senator Mike Gravel. Uh, we had uh, Adam Kokesh. We had uh, this guy, Reza Kali. A whole bunch of guests. Um, that's, not, that's not it. We have a whole bunch more. So go to insanegovernment.com and comment down below and subscribe up to
top. There you go, up top. See you around.